All right, in red here, we have um, Bad Koala playing as the Spanish. Um, not the strongest Civ on Arabia, for sure. Neither are Italians, though. Uh, here in blue, we have Twig playing as the Italians. And yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you'd have to maybe favor Italians here, but maybe not. Um, do they have a strong answer to the Conquistador? I guess they do, right, with their Genoese crossbowmen. So maybe we'll just see unique unit versus unique unit. Um... But late game, the Spanish can be quite strong. Let's see. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. As we can look at the maps here. And uh, Twigs is not fantastic. Backwood line has a pond in it. Forward gold. Forward berries. His other gold's a bit exposed. Hasn't picked up his deer yet. This is a nice gold. Might see a TC here later on. I would love that. And then on the other side, we have Bad Koala. And he's pushing in his zebra and ostrich. Uh, he is a pond as well, obviously, because the maps are balanced. Uh, forward gold, very exposed, but safe berries, safe golds out here as well. So, yeah, if you can secure this part of the map, could be quite nice. Maybe a castle here later on will be interesting. But the Spanish probably want to go for their unique unit um, as their strongest option. And he has his stone out here, and his other stone is way out here. So stone quite exposed as well, so that won't be too easy for him to get into that composition. And yeah, let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba. Start giving Halas abuse if your game doesn't work. Oi, oi, oi. Did you validate files on Steam? I didn't. I reinstalled the game. Would that do the same thing? You think, Sean? Um, I honestly have no notion about this stuff. Yeah. Same thing, okay. okay. Yeah, I reinstalled the game and it didn't make a difference. But it's weird though, because I didn't have to reinstall my mods. Which is a bit strange. I guess. Isn't that strange? I don't know. Alright. Bad Koala gonna push in his final ostrich here. He hasn't done much scouting. And Twig is just now trying to find his opponent. Gets a bit unlucky there. Didn't see anything. He was actually much closer than he thought. And maybe he thinks the it's up here. But it's actually here. And we can see everything, obviously. Did he find those two guys out here? Yes, he did. Okay, he got all his sheep and is pushing in his... Or, sorry, taking his rhinos now. He needs to get his villagers back to work. Tiny bit sloppy from Twig. Um, we've seen Twig do amazing things. Uh, like, he seems to be very good, but inconsistent, I would say. But uh, maybe that's the mark of the 2K, 2K1, 2K2 ELO players, when they can play super well, but they're just not at the consistency of the top guys. We saw him absolutely destroy Vinchester once on the ladder and then other games when he looks like he's hundreds of elo lower than that. So yeah, definitely capable. As he's going to come and be annoying now with his scout. Going to stop Bad Koala from pushing in this final ostrich. Now just going to run away. And yeah, he'll feel that's well worth it. He can continue to deny this as Bad Koala comes out to take some gold. I don't know whether that was intentional or just because the villager was beside the gold. It's like, might as well. Uh, we do have a, we don't even have a barracks. So he's going to start mining stone straight away. Okay. So this might be our defense into castle something. Bad koala. <laughs> Trying to get this uh, mining camp down as the ostrich goes back again. That's just brutal. So very annoying by twig. So very good play there. But this is a weird build for bad koala. Is this an attempted fast castle with incredibly exposed resources? Maybe. And has Twig spotted this? No, he hasn't. He's done, like, for all the annoying things he's done, he hasn't done a great job scouting, except the main gold. Definitely doesn't want to lose his scout. It is almost half HP, so, yeah. Let's see. Um, bad Koala continuing to push this ostrich. This ostrich thought it was getting away, but it will be murdered soon. Don't worry. Okay. Um, being pushed in now. Oi. Nice play there by Bad Koala in the end, sticking to his guns. Um, but yeah, he's going to have a weird eco here, right? As Twig is up to the next age. Bad Koala not showing any signs of clicking up. He's going to go for a fast castle, and it is incredibly naked. He's really, really susceptible to towers here. Um, oh, he has so much stone. He doesn't need this much stone now. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. As a villager comes out to help with the scout, um, obviously the scout from Twig is going to be a bit stronger now that he's in feudal age. And he'll be suspecting Fast Castle. 
And he's actually going to go for an archery range straight off the bat. Archer's on the way, spear on the way as well, so interesting. But if Bat Koala gets away with this, we have to, uh, we really have to question Twig. Twig's play. Um, he shouldn't be getting away with this. He's on his way up to Feudal Age now. 26 villagers, still 5 on stone. Maybe he wants enough to drop a castle and drop TCs, but he won't have the food eco. Surely. Um, how is this, how is he being allowed to take this gold? Oh, yo, yo, archers and spears need to come across, yeah, immediately. Ba -ba -da -ba. There's some AOE announcement of five, apparently. Oh, okay, isn't it the 25th anniversary stream or something? Uh, please come watch AOE 4 tomorrow. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Waiting to see what the viewer count is like. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as good as AOE 2. I mean, I haven't been following too much, uh, whatever, AOE 4 on Twitch, so it's hard to know, but uh, still. I think there is just a bigger fan base for AoE 2. Anyway, uh, so Bad Koala taken off, uh, taken off gold, but he has enough gold. Now we'll want to get this market up. Uh, if the archers sit here, they might be able to deny this market a little bit, as we see a blacksmith now. So yeah, he can sell some of this stone and probably click up to uh, the castle age and arrive with enough stone to drop that castle. And yeah, needs to be careful. Blacksmith almost up, but still doesn't have enough food. But yeah, he can sell this stone and he's going to be all right. Uh, let's see if Bad Koala moves around to try and pressurize this stone. He sent he, ha he hasn't spotted this stone. It's kind of crazy how his scouting, he's just been focused on doing damage rather than actually getting kills. Uh, sorry, rather than actually scouting. And he might come over and spot this stone, which will give him an idea of what's going on. And uh, yeah. Bad Koala getting closer to 800 food, and he can click up mm, now. All right. Still be punished, of course. Uh, Twig gonna have a stronger eco, obviously, and have some, uh, yeah, and have some archers being annoying. But he has enough stone now, so Bad Koala deciding to get that stone early, and obviously had his a good reason for it because he knew he would be vulnerable. Um, he could even get a tower up here if he really wants to make this safe, but um, it would be hard to get a tower up that will stop the archers from ranging the bills from the hill um but anyway let's see how twig responds here is bad koala gonna continue to wall behind and uh, yeah you, you feel like a castle will stop all this pressure but where is he gonna put the castle what's his scouting like he hasn't spotted his other goals so bad scouting i'm gonna say it guys bad scouting by both players oh yeah yeah Yeah, bad scouting by both players, I would say. How, how's it going, Brontosaurus? Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. I'm sure he knows what's going on, but the fact that he could have denied this stone much earlier, it's, uh... It's bad. It's quite bad. Pretty good, how are you? I'm fine, man. Uh, my game crashed, and... Yeah. And now I'm banned from the... <laughs> I'm banned from the lobby for an hour, so yeah. We're just doing some casting until we can play again. But hopefully it's not going to be an issue again with uh, the game crashing uh, when I queue up next time. All right. Okay. Castle Age is reached. Where is that castle going? Here. Okay. Won't keep this stone safe. Won't keep this wood line safe. Won't keep this gold safe. So I'm questioning the castling position here. You can obviously go for Conquistador and that's going to be strong. Twig on his way up to Castle Age now with 35 villagers. Idle TC time a bit higher for Bad Koala as he... Yeah, he, Twig tries to break in through this uh, wall, but yeah, he's going to die here. Um, but yeah, this castle not doing too much by itself, but Conquistador is very, very strong, especially against the feudal army. As yeah. Twig unable to take gold. He's moving out now with his villagers. Do what exactly? Where are they going? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is bizarre from Bad Koala. Building a house here. Doesn't have wood to build anything else. Conquistadors come out. He just wants to take this gold. Protect it with the Conquistador. Fair enough. <laughs> As Twig will spot this, he'll spot this other uh, mining camp coming up. So he'll look to target this later on, presumably. Oh, yeah. Where? Could the castle have been better placed? Probably. Anyway, out here for Bad Koala. Hanging around. Probably just wants to stop any monks coming out, maybe. Use his weak scout. 
but doing a good job being active here. Kept being annoying for Twig, but yeah, I don't think Bad Koala really has to care about this. And it's 17 villagers on gold, so he'll be able to make conquistadors, yeah, pretty steadily. Ba -ba -da -ba. Busy all the weekend, so I've been trying to catch up all the Red Bull I missed. Still haven't, still need to watch day three. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, TC will go on that gold when he has the res, yeah. Uh, that's a good point, Sean. Yeah, we'll try not to spoil it for your Brantosaurus, unless it's been spoiled <laughs> already. I, uh, will try not to. Okay, Conquistador is harassing a bit. Twig is up to the next age, and what's he gonna do here? Gonna drop a university back and try and get to Crossbow, which should be okay against the Conquistadors. Um, but it's all about numbers, right? Maybe you can consider getting a Monastery down, compete for the Relics. And uh, yeah, he has 36 villagers, Bad Koala with 33. Did a good job surviving. Did a good job surviving. Um, not on stone anymore, so he's just trying to build up a big ball of conquistadors and maybe try to take this game early. Going for a siege workshop in defense, okay. Let's see. Crossbow being annoying over here, but that will be mopped up. And yeah, this is what we were talking about. The castle doesn't really protect anything except the farms. Um, and even then, if the archers get in the back, it doesn't protect most of the farms. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Bad Koala now going for Scorpion defense. All right. Um, interesting. Not going for a Manganel. Maybe feels that Twig's micro is too good. As Twig is just coming straight for this gold, he knows there's a bunch of exposed villagers here. And yeah. Let's see. He sees the garrison seed workshop. He's going to expect the Manganel, or he has to expect the Manganel, really. And it's just going to run away. If he knew that was Scorpions... I don't know if he would um, run away in this situation. But he's going to come home. He spots the Conquistador running around. Conquistador going to work away on this um, Palisade. Break in very quickly as Twig is going to have to rewall here. So good play by Bad Koala. Keeping his... Well, I was about to say keeping his TC running, but he's not really, is he? Now he is. Okay, bit of idle TC time for him. But yeah, good adaptation. Really good adaptation to the really terrible map. As the scout is just hanging around here waiting for the Manganel maybe to pop out. Um, but a Conquistador will run out now and take care of the scout. If it hits him, that is. Yeah, second shot. Alright, Conquistador versus Archers here. Great reactions by Bad Koala. Just use, loses a tiny bit of... Um, loses a tiny bit of health there. If I were Twig, I'd want my own castle. I bet Genoese will do well against Conks. Yeah, that's what uh, we were saying at the start of the game. Feels like they'd counter them... Yeah, pretty strongly. Uh, but he's not moving on to stone. Doesn't even have a second TC. Got ballistics instead. I think. Did he? Yeah, he got ballistics. Um, yeah, a castle would be really nice. And he can actually defend his gold and farms and wood with one really nice castle here. But where's his stone? It's exposed here. And where's the other stone? Here. So he can't really take his stone. And Bad Koala, I don't know if he's camping the stone intentionally. Probably not, right? It's just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, maybe he's happy just to defend with the archers. Wait till he has enough res to um, maybe drop a TC. He's floating a bit of food. So maybe not the best um, Maybe not the best eco balance by him. And in terms of villagers, he is ahead, but that's just idle time. That's just Bad Koala idling to get his conquistador numbers up. But all these conks go down uh, to ballistics. We can actually rewind there. It's a bit of devastation. Yeah. Ballistics with the crossbows is going to be enough here to clean all of this up. And conks are expensive as hell. And yeah, it's tough. Really tough as this army is going to hop in. But yeah, it just feels like the crossbow will deal with it very, very easily. Let's see. All right. Yeah. So tough now for Bad Koala to deal with this. You feel he needs to switch into another unit. Like, I know he has Siege, but it's been a bit useless. Um, as there is a Manganel on the front now. Okay, and villagers are forward dropping um, dropping outposts. So Twig can clear all of this if his micro is on point. Um, so let's see. He spreads his archers, so it'll do... Yep, the scorpions won't be as strong. Now he's going to group them all up. Uh, what armor does he have? He's just got the second armor, so now he should be able to tank a Manganel shot. And maybe a few more crossbow or uh, scorpion bolts. As he gets headshots. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> After all the build up. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, he was in such a good position. Oh my god, okay. Desperate defense coming up. What a moment. Oh yeah, yo. <clears throat> if two's going fast in prospect, fast in our bummer cannon, yeah. After that, no. Oh my god, we have to see that again. That's too funny. Oh yeah, yo, yo, yo. I shouldn't be laughing. Okay, he's on the hill and just says, I'm gonna do like the walk. Just. <laughs> and then the, he splits into the Manganel shot. So we have to give credit to Bad Koala there. He just won the game, I think. How many archers was that? He has 31. And he finished all of that with 13. Oh my goodness. Okay, gets the tower up here. To be able to defend and now he's gonna have to mass all those archers again and bad koala in a fantastic position definitely has the stronger army now and uh yeah he's not moving back onto stone he's still out here no dc or anything so he has to be happy with that that uh, that couldn't have gone better for him and twig is gonna come out with this smaller army and maybe he'll do better with this but let's see god damn it it was going so well he's able to one shot the conks And he's definitely, he's definitely not dead, but uh, yeah, the army situation is not fantastic. As the conks in these numbers will do very well. Uh, yeah, losing that big ball of archers for free, basically. Created it for a mangonel. Not ideal. Uh, so yeah, villagers will need to be brought over to repair these mangonels. And it's such a beautiful spot for these. Sitting up on this hill can take out the gold and everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Haven't seen that in a while i have to say um because the archers will be able to snipe the repair bills and now uh, the castle will sn snipe the mangonel so yeah good play by twig really good play should be able to defend here actually it looked like a really great position for his opponent like on this hill but apparently not as he thinks about another range then changes his mind and is now going to move on to stone yeah low villager counts for these players so let's see. <clears throat> it looked a bit over to me before those Mangonel shots. You mean it was over as in Twig was going to win? Or you think that Bad Koala was going to win? Um, it reminds me a bit of every time I make archers, yeah. That's why knights are OP. <clears throat> I thought Twig was going to win. Yeah, I thought the same thing. It was such a big ball of archers. With like all like the upgrades as well he had the armor <laughs> and then just nope he might even have had thumb ring look at all the food he's floating he's gonna try to go to imp and go arbalest i guess that's his play uh a bit later than maybe he thought as bad koala just goes in and snipes uh snipes a couple of villagers with the mangonel yeah and he's gonna sit here and take some good trades uh over here this conquistador is denying this gold denying this wood and bad koala great game sense by him the only thing he's not denying or pressuring right now is this uh, is this stone. As yet, villagers being brought forward. Great mangonel here by Twig. He needs to micro it. He's done a fantastic job. That's two for one. Can he get three for one? That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Four kills for this mangonel. Three of those were mangonels. As the conquistadors run in and he kills him. Oh my god. That's from questionable archer micro. Do fantastic mangonel micro that sums twig up <laughs> he's uh yeah i don't know from what i've seen of him not that i've watched hundreds of his games or anything but i've watched him a bit he seems capable of genius but uh it doesn't always work out for <laughs> sometimes anyway oh yeah 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 go imp arb yeah instead let's eat rocks but he can still go up. He can still click up. And with even a small amount of herbs, he might still be okay. Uh, but Bad Koala has done a fantastic job. Twig still has the score lead. Bad Koala just given up on making bills. He just says, I have to completely go all in. And his eco is questionable. Um, but this is a cool game. This is definitely a cool game. All right. Um, okay. Oh, if that mangonel hadn't gotten all those... The same mangonel is alive. It's the same one. <laughs> oh my god. Absolute hero mangonel. Gets another one! 
Oh my god. So Twig now surely is trying to go fast in. He's not clicking though. Does he have a building? He does. He has the buildings. He has the monastery and the siege. Oh my god. Bad Koala gonna take the relics. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, while he has map control. Poems will be written about that manga now. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Hero. Absolute hero. Uh, okay. Archer's gonna protect on this side. Uh, market coming up here for Twig. Yeah. Market, I guess, makes sense. As he is going to imp. And Arbalest should wreck everything here, right? He just needs to keep them alive. Defense with Maganels, I guess, is enough. Um, and he should be fine. Once he gets Bracer, uh, Arbalest should be feeling okay. But yeah, needs to get his numbers up at the same time. Um, but needs to be patient. He just needs to wait. If he loses this army now, it's just like, come on. It will be questionable decision making as Conquistadors come in again on the gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, the archers just loop around back through the gate. Okay, need to come and deal with the Conquistadors as the Manganels will look to get some damage. Yeah. This Manganel is now training this Manganel, like whispering to him, yeah, just get some practice shots at the house. Here we go. No, Manganel, no. No. No! Ay, 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 ay. F's in the chat. Gone but not forgotten. Still a pixel there in his memory. Okay. <clears throat> As the Conquistador is still harassing on this side. Uh, Imp is here for Twig though. Um, chemistry, Bracer on the way. And should be sniping a few of these guys here, but not quite one-shotting. So, yeah, losing that big ball really, really hurts. Really, really hurts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Conquistador are going to get a few Vil kills here. 43 Vils for Twig, 52 for Bad Koala. So, if you're Twig, you're probably feeling that your opponent has to have a good eco, right? But he just doesn't. <laughs> for whatever reason, Bad Koala has decided against eco in this game. As he tries to micro down some bills, and he's getting lots of reward here. 36. Keeping his opponent at home as well while he's an imp. This is exactly what he wants. But it's going to be a long time before he clicks up himself. He does have enough stone to be dropping TCs and castles. Uh, going to get a TC up now on this go this gold. Has he seen this gold? He has. So. Um, he's taken all of his main gold. And yeah. Riss, how's it going? I heard this beautiful Irishman go live. Thank you, man. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, hope your COVID days are over. I'm still feeling a little bit testy for mine, and it was two weeks ago, so it can take some time. As we see all these dead monks here. Most symptoms gone, but yes, Riss is back. Good, good, good. good. Okay, castle coming up on the hill now for Bad Koala. And yeah. He doesn't have ballistics, but still. Oi, oi, oi. Twig, don't throw your army. Without smiling down on him. Um, as the Conquistador are going to run around here trying to get some damage. Going to clear up these arbs. <clears throat> uh, one, almost a two-hour Mishi team game after microing Bomber can to kill Siege Onagers for a whole hour. Wow. Okay, fair enough. GG's. What, was it a 4v4 or what? Okay, forward castle from Twig. He's going to go for Trebs by the looks of things. And Bad Koala going to continue in Castle Age. As the Arbs come around and yeah, they can destroy everything here, basically. But at the moment, can't find a way in. And this could be denied. At least somewhat. Big needs to be here to defend these villagers. Alright, they will start going down. So I need to be micro back to the arbs. Uh, but this should really go up. What's Bad Koala gonna do here? He's made the decision just to keep making Conquistador. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. 
Hoyer Leaf. Hoyer Leaf. Hoyer Leaf. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Oh, good guy is here. Nice. As this castle might just be straight up denied. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Conquistador is taking okay trades against the Arabs here, and it looks like this castle will be denied. 37 bills for Twig. Arbalest. Are they going to get it done? Well, they're certainly in low enough numbers now that they're just not a threat. Okay, there you go. Arbalest do not counter conks. He's going to wall it in. He absolutely should wall it in. What's the time? What's the percentage? 88%. Okay. As here come the Arbalest. Now we're seeing some tasty micro. And more villagers coming forward for Twig. Oh my goodness, this has been a ridiculous game. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and he will finish this now. Okay. Back up here, it's just an Arbalest. And... Okay. Double bid axe on the way for Bad Koala. Interesting. Been an interesting game, to say the least. Uh, Twig not with enough res yet for a... Um, Reb. But I think he should be more active with his arbs. Although, yeah, if these get caught out by the Conquistador, they just get shredded by the looks of things. But Bad Koala splitting up his Conquistador, which I guess is a mistake, yeah. Um, so a bit of a stalemate here at this stage. And how is Bad Koala going to deal with this? He does have the eco lead, considerable eco lead now, after not making villagers for a very long time. Oi, oi, oi. Pro player goes double bit axe at 40 plus minutes, yeah. I mean, good excuse for when I do it, you know. Bad Koala did it, and he won a game, so there you go. Uh, okay, Conquistador gonna run around here. Such a strong unit. Oh my god. These are fully upgraded Arbalest, as far as I can tell. Just missing the last armor. Maybe he could think about getting that last armor, but... Right now he has one on food. Which is not ideal. Nico a bit of a shambles, but now he has his tread, and Bad Koala will need to invest uh, a lot of stone into repairing these castles, but he's got a decent looking eco now, as he's going to add archery ranges behind, probably going to think about skirmishers, which should just end all of this, unless Twig, um, unless Twig gets some bombard cannons out on the field, but they're going to feel very vulnerable to the conks, so let's see, <laughs> it's been a strange game. My game, uh, hope Koala knows how far ahead he is, yeah. He knows that he killed a lot of Vils, right, so, yeah. As he's gonna send in a ram for the Trebs, um, and Conquistor is at the same time, gonna work away. Yeah. A lot of death. Block with the Arabs. Okay, doesn't matter. Gets the kill. Needs to send some villagers forward to repair these trebs. And maybe just add a few condos or something. Um, just for style points. Genoese crossbowmen on the way. They should do very well against the conks. And let's see. I was wondering with this matchup, how do we get to a point where the Italians go all in? Feels safer to play Expo in TCs. He played Expo and then he got absolutely rocked. He lost 30 archers to Manganels. Uh, in the mid game and yeah Bad Koala basically went fast castle conks and then Twig didn't have the eagle to drop TC's instead invested in um, universities to get ballistics to upgrade his cross for one was doing okay uh, what? no no Bad Koala that can't be a resign no way oh yeah yo that's a shame I guess there was too many arbs now. He couldn't do anything. Mm -mm. He was quite all in. Yeah, but he had a 42 villager lead. Yeah, maybe just needed skirms a bit earlier. Took too many bad trades with the uh, conks, but that was close.